Saturday, the stage is set for the annual Army-Navy game. The Black Knights and the Midshipmen will meet on the gridiron for the 116th time in history. The Commander-in-Chief's trophy on the line. Navy enters the contest looking to defeat Army West Point for a series record 14th straight year. They have outscored Army 417 to 142 during its 13-game winning streak. After 134 years of independence, Navy just wrapped up its first year playing in the American, finishing as the West Division co-champions with a 7-1 record. Head coach Ken Niamatololo was named Coach of the Year, while senior quarterback Keenan Reynolds was named the league's best offensive player. While the Mids didn't end up playing for the American Championship trophy after falling to Houston in the season's final game, there is still another trophy up for the taking. A win over Army West Point would bring the Commander-in-Chief's trophy back to Annapolis. The Mids have won the Commander-in-Chief's trophy in nine of the last 12 years and are set up to do so again after beating Air Force earlier in the season 33-11. The trophy is presented annually to the winner of the football competition among the three major service academies, Army West Point, Navy, and Air Force, and is named in honor of the President of the United States. And for the special event, Navy will break out new uniforms. The Mids will wear Under Armour designed Navy fleet uniforms and hand-painted helmets for Saturday's game. The uniform is inspired by and pays tribute to seven of the historic ships that make up the U.S. Naval Fleet. Each ship is detailed on one of seven hand-painted helmets assigned by position. The rally cry, Damn the Torpedoes, is featured on the uniforms as a nod to Admiral Farragut's historic naval victory at the Battle of Mobile Bay in 1864. Speaking of history, it has been a topic of discussion regularly this season at Navy. Reynolds has scored 83 career rushing touchdowns, which are the most in NCAA FBS history. He is just one touchdown behind Georgia Southern's Adrian Peterson and Towson's Terrence West for the overall Division I record. In the total touchdowns category, he is tied for the most in NCAA history with Monte Ball and current player Kenneth Dixon of Louisiana Tech. Reynolds has two games remaining while Dixon only has one. With the win over Army, Reynolds will become the first quarterback in the history of the Army-Navy game to go 4-0 as a starter. Navy has had 10 consecutive senior classes go undefeated against Army West Point, and the 13-game winning streak against the Black Knights is the longest in NCAA history between any two main rivals. Army West Point enters Saturday's game with a 2-9 record. The Black Knights own victories over Eastern Michigan and Bucknell, and have losses to American teams UConn and Tulane. They have had some tough luck, though, losing six games by seven points or less. It doesn't matter what they've done before, before us. They're going to come with it uh, every year. Doesn't matter. So, you know, we, we can't have a let down. We can't come out and expect them to roll over. Um, it's going to be a tough challenge. I mean, it's going to be a hard fought game. We're going to have to battle for every inch and uh, every yard that we get. We, we, we respect them. And so that's all we know. We know those guys are like us. They're tough as nails. They're well coached. And they're going to come and fight. They're not going to lay down. And you got to be ready. Last year, I ran into an Army guy. Uh, I guess I think he graduated in like 09. And, uh, you know, First, he kind of gave me a hard time for playing the Navy, but then after that, <laughs> but after that, we just had a normal conversation. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're fighting for the same cause. So, I mean, it's a football game. We're going to compete. We're going to try to rip each other's heads off on the field. But, you know, other than that, you know, there's no ill will between us. You know, we really are brothers in arms. Dating back to last year, Navy has won 15 of its last 18 games with losses only against nationally ranked programs, Notre Dame twice, and most recently, Houston. The Mids have also been ranked in both polls for the last five weeks which is the most consecutive week that has been ranked since 1963. Kickoff is set for 3 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS. ESPN Game Day will be out in Philly for that one. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.